You may not know this, but our Lauren Oleski can solve a Rubik's Cube. We have been mixing this one up, Lauren. Mm -hmm. So, Lauren, we have a challenge for you. We want to know, can you solve this and give the forecast at the same time? I'm going to try. I'm very nervous. My heart's like racing a little bit. Are we ready? <laughs> all right, I'm pushing play on my graphic. So, because all this is all set automatically. So, right now we are waking up to dry conditions across our area. We did have showers this morning. We are warming up quite a bit uh, as well. It's really it's 80 degrees right now in uh, West Palm Beach, 79 in Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie. Currently at 77, 78 in Vero, Okeechobee. You're right now. You right now are at 73. So we will see storms firing again. Now today they could be a little bit closer to noontime for us, but uh, again, prepare to see more thunderstorms moving across our area during the afternoon. Even into your drive home, we will see showers and storms. Keep that in mind. Some of them could also become severe at times. Stay weather aware. Download our app. It's actually great. It will literally send an alert to your phone and say, hey, there's lightning in your area. Be careful. So overnight will stay dry. You might have to wake up to a little shower or two to get you started on uh, your Saturday morning. Into tomorrow afternoon, once again, more storms will start firing and developing across our area. Just stay weather aware. It's Florida in the summertime. It's the same pattern, just a different day of the week. Today and tomorrow, the strongest storms are likely, however, going to be inland, which is uh, a bit of a different look from what we've been seeing over the past a uh, few days for us. So just keep that in mind. Most of the strongest storms have been near the coast. Today and tomorrow, they're likely going to be uh, for our inland locations. So then waking up Sunday morning, once again, a couple showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm across our area. And then into your Sunday afternoon, like I said, different day, same pattern. We will again see a few isolated thunderstorms. Now, today, there is a threat for some severe weather. You'll see the dark green we have across our area. We are under a marginal risk of severe storms from the Storm Prediction Center. That is a uh, one on a scale from one to five. I just messed this up, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Trying again. Okay, so that is a one on a scale from one to five. Keep that in mind. Strong, gusty winds will be our main threat. It's also going to be really warm out there for us today. Temperatures will head to the upper 80s. Hey, it's Florida in the summertime. Add the humidity, it is going to feel a little bit warmer, likely in the 80s at times uh, throughout the day. Overnight, we'll head down into the 70s, back into the day Saturday. We will be in the mid to upper 80s for your Saturday afternoon, overnight Saturday night, <laughs> and into Sunday. Back to where are we right now? We're Sunday at 3 a.m. We have a <laughs> mild start to ever. your Sunday morning. Let's Yay! wrap it up. Yay! There's your moisture tracker. Uh, Here's your seven day. So impressive.